Yeah, 25 episodes. Welcome again to Drumsticks on the channel. Alberto Iglesias, a different pair of drumsticks every week. And yeah, we're finally here, 25. It's hard to believe. Oh, more than six months working on all that crazy drumstick stuff. Uh, but really, really happy to be here. Really to be happy to, to, to reach this point. And um, as I told you past week, I think it's a great, a great uh, day to, to try to recap all that, uh, that I've been learning during this, this time and share it with you. And so it's kind of a place where you can um, see uh, uh, everything that I've been uh, learning during these six months. Uh, okay, uh, it's going to be a long episode, as you can imagine. Uh, in fact, I've just recorded the, the Spanish version. It's more than an hour. <laughs> so, well, I'm going to try to put um, different links uh, to the different parts of the, um, of the episode. So you can just go to the part you want or just see a, a little piece and then see another piece of the day or um, just try to help. Okay. So, uh, what I've uh, thought about the, how to distribute all this information is uh, first I want to talk about the, the different parts of the drumsticks and what I've been, um, what I've discovered about each part and things that I've been um, uh, commenting during the different videos and different uh, models and all that to try to focus on different parts and talk about that part. Uh, after that, I'm going to um, uh, to tell you uh, why, what I, um, I mean, a little surprises that I've been having with different models that um, didn't work as, as uh, I was expecting or um, in a good or in a bad way, depending on each case. After that, uh, just a little list of kind, of my, maybe let's call it favorites, it's not uh, for maybe it's not the, the, the right word, but it's well some of the models that I've, uh, I'm using now in my gigs or in um, uh, when I'm playing with other people. Okay, um, then um, I just want to recap just four uh, kind of general points or general things that I've uh, I learned uh, about drumsticks in general. Uh, not so much about the physical part of maybe it's drum fixing in, in general. Um, then the, the Q&A section, but, uh, just with one question, but, uh, uh, it's, it's been awesome to, to read a question and just want to give my opinion about that. Uh, finally, just uh, uh, it's a huge thank you to different people, okay? It does more or less the index of uh, the episode. So let's uh, start uh, with the parts of, uh, of the drumstick and just uh, I'm going to start with the, the, the thickness or the grip of, of uh, the drumsticks. Okay, about the thickness or about the, uh, let's say it's about more or less the, the model that's usually related to the thickness. Uh, as I told you in the first video that I talk about this, um, it's kind of, okay, my opinion is that uh, they uh, usually, you cannot usually hear people saying that, okay, 5 eighths for pop, 5 eighths for rock, uh, 7 eight, you know, all that stuff that I, I mentioned a lot of things, a lot of time this in, in, in other videos. And um, if we talk about that, um, okay, I kind of disagree with that. I, I think that thickness is one of the things that um, it's, uh, it's better to, to try to find the thickness that uh, adapts better to your hand. Um, sometimes, for me, the, maybe the key point is uh, the, how big is your hand. And in my case, uh, my hand is it's kind of long. It's, it's, uh, uh, it's thin or slim, but it's, it's, long. it's long. I have long fingers. So if I use uh, drumsticks that are uh, too thin, it's kind of hard to, 
to hold the stick in my hand. It moves, there's a lot of space, so it's harder for me to control the drumstick. Um, I know that in the, on the other side, uh, if you are thinking that, oh, but I play rock, I want to use uh, a really big and thick drumstick. Okay, it's, that's, the, that's the thing. I, I, in my opinion, you just, I, I prefer to focus first on um, the thickness that, that it's better for your hand. For, for a thickness that, where you can feel, um, when you feel comfortable when you play. Um, but it's not, it doesn't have to be related, just related directly with the, with the style even. Why? Because, and let's talk about the second aspect of the drumstick seats is uh, the, the weight of the drumstick, which is the play. I, I mean, the, I, I think that's the, the, the key, that's the reason for this kind of misunderstanding between the, the model and the, and the style. Uh, when you play with a, with a, a, a Okay, when you when you are hitting a, a, a I don't know a snare or a cymbal, uh, the the what the, the strength that you are using because of the physics it's it's uh, uh, related to the to the weight of the of the drumstick. So the weight I think is that's that's the key point. The weight is what it's making you uh, sound louder. Uh, it's the weight of the drumstick. It's not so much the thickness. But what happens is that when you are using a, th a, a, a thicker drumstick, uh, because it's, it's thicker, so it's, it, it's, it's heavier at the same time. So, but uh, I, I think you have to be able to combine that's, that's, that, that two things, uh, this, sorry, <laughs> those two things, uh, you have to be able to combine to find the perfect match for you. So what I'm trying to say is just don't constrain uh, your mind just thinking, okay, because I want, now I, I, I want to play jazz, so I, I have to use a 7 eight or something really, really thin. No way, man. You, you, you can't play with, with uh, a, a 2B thickness if... Um, if you are, if you combine it with a different booth, for example, so if you use a, a lighter uh, drumstick, uh, you can combine that, that those two things, and I'm fine. A place where you are comfortable, you don't have to fo just use the seven A because uh, you are playing. Yes, I don't know if I'm even able to <laughs> explain exactly what I mean. I think it, I think it's it's easy to understand. So let's say like that. Just please don't. Uh, mm, these two aspects for me, uh, the, the thickness and the weight, it's something, it's the first thing to, to pay attention when you are testing or when you are looking for your drumstick. At that point, I just, for, I think it's better to forget about the style, forget about whatever you want to do and focus on something that feel, feels comfortable for you. In my case, for example, I prefer lighter drumsticks. I feel more comfortable with that, and I think it's okay. <laughs> uh, um, so it's it's. I think it's that's it's the 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 best way to start when you are trying to find or looking for a uh, for your drumstick, and pay attention to those two things. Uh, okay, after that, um, I want to talk about the length of the drumstick. As you know, what 16 inches is more or less the standard length uh, for a standard 5A or 5B. Um, okay, uh, starting there, you can go to longer drumsticks. Uh, I've done that, as you know. Here you have, well, this is an example of a 5B XXL from Vincent. I, I, I think all, all, all companies have, uh, they have different variations with uh, longer options. Uh, uh, in this case, this is extremely, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of, I don't, I, I don't know if I have, uh, this is, uh, well, this is 16 inches, it's, it's uh, 5 pi Fusion, but it's, as you can see, there's a lot of different. Okay, so, uh, what happens when you are doing this? When you play with a longer drumsticks, uh, the drumstick, um, I would say two two main things for me. One, the first thing, 
it's the um, it's 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 more powerful. It's easier to to um, why because if you if you look at the drumstick when uh, when you find the, the perfect balance of the drumstick in your hand, uh, whatever it is, uh, I don't care about that. But with a longer drumstick, you are usually gonna have more length here. So it's kind you it's because of the balance point you have more surface here it's easier you have more uh, um, I don't know the English word for this <laughs> but uh, you know uh, uh, it's easier to hit with more power you have more material here so you hit harder um, and at, uh, that's one thing the other thing is again you have more weight because you have more material so you, the, the drumstick is heavier. Uh, combining those two things makes you um, makes it easy to play harder with these drumsticks, uh, which is good if you are looking for that. Um, but on the other side, uh, as you know, if I, you've been watching the videos, I don't feel really comfortable with that because because of that uh, uh, increase of weight, uh, I feel I. I it's, it's, it's for me harder to move the drumstick uh, all over the kit. So, and sometimes I hit other things and uh, hit maybe the tom or I get stuck in some place with the drumstick. Uh, okay, you can get used to that. It's just a question of playing more time. But I don't, I don't, it doesn't fit in my case. Uh, uh, so, I really think it's uh, this this um, this uh, longer drumsticks uh, are a great option. If you if you have a really big kit with a lot of things all over the place, um, okay. If you have a lot of symbols and all that, there's you reach a point when you have to put things, uh, you know, more far away from you. Uh, so that extra length, I'm pretty sure it's it's. It's not maybe not mandatory, but it, it's it's gonna help you. So that's the place when I think it's it's more comfortable. Apart from the fact that of course you can, as I've been telling, you can hit harder. Uh, maybe with le less effort, you can hit harder. So I, as you know, in my case, it doesn't fit for me. But um, it's also true that. There are some signature models that I've been using that are more than 16 inches and because of the different taper, the different tip or other, you know, all combinations that you can find, sometimes the balance is it's, it's better and, and uh, it's been great to play with them. So it's not, you know, a fixed rule, it's kind of, uh, but um, I, to be honest, I can, uh, I don't see the, if you don't play that, you know, more harder or all that, I, um, the, the sacrifice I have to do with, uh, according, you know, related to balance and all that, um, is not enough for me to compensate the, the, I prefer this time again, it, it fits better for me, but that's, those two things I, uh, I really have to struggle thinking about the, the benefits of this um, because all the models, the standard models that I've tried, um, I always prefer the 16 inches. So, but I think that maybe those two things could be uh, uh, something that makes you decide for, for this option. But of course, I think you have to give it a try uh, because maybe in, the, in, in your case, it's, it's the perfect option. I don't know. Uh, okay. Now uh, I'm going to talk about the tip. Okay, well, you know we've been we've been watching. If you if you have been following the the, the channel, we've been using tons of different um, tips. Uh, what well, you can find so many different tips in the market, and um, you're never gonna get tired of try different things if you want. Uh, well, we uh, here's a round tip with with nylon. This is. Kind of the standard acorn uh, tip. We have uh, uh, this is oval tip. 
uh, we have uh, blender tube uh, 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 body bridge model the other day uh, we have big tips we have super small tips I, I, well you can find I, I think we have all combinations you can imagine you, of course you can find no uh, uh, drum strips that doesn't have any tip and uh, just go straight to the top uh, it's more for timbale or all that uh, uh, percussion thing um, okay this we have a lot of we've been trying different options uh, so how can I um, uh, sum up all these options okay I, I would say uh, the the uh, about the shape uh, round half barrel all that smaller tips with uh, kind of round all of them uh, gives you a more focused sound uh, more definition uh, that's it, I think. It's, it's kind of the, the thing up if we talk about the sound. So, uh, it feel, I, I, I'm not gonna say it's better for this style or this other. Depend, depends completely on of, of the sound you are trying to get. But it's kind of, it goes in that direction. If you, the longer and bigger the stick, uh, the, sorry, the tip gets, uh, you are going to start noticing more uh, Fatter sound, uh, uh, more overtones uh, in the cymbals. The cymbals are going to open more, um, and it's kind of the, the 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 sound starts to get you know to to, to be fatter and bigger, more round. It's I don't know the exact word, not even in Spanish, but uh, it's kind of that. Um, so that's about the sound. Um, about the the um, the physical part of the drumstick, with the round and the small tips, uh, I feel that it, they have better rebound. You get better rebound um, if it's perfectly round, like in the case of the Omar Hakim signature model. The the more round uh, that that the tip uh, gets, I feel like. Uh, uh, the response is more stable uh, or more independent of the angle of attack. Uh, I've been, I've talked about this in this when when I when I explain this model or uh, other models that have round tip. I feel that uh, because the, the contact surface is always kind of the same. The, of course, the angle is different, but like when you play with other tip, is the same. The, the the angle can can be different, but the surface that hits the the the, the drum or a cymbal or whatever um, it's always kind of the same shape so that I feel like it's more independent of the what are you using it, I, I think they are great when you move all, all around the key you know when you start playing all the uh, uh, toms and when you move a lot around the key this kind of, of super round tip uh, feels super comfortable in my case it's kind of more stable. The response is more stable. Um, well, with bigger tips or um, uh, maybe oval tip or like this or or even the standard acorn tip, um, what I feel it's it's more you get less rebound. Um, it feels heavier when you hit. Heavier, I'm not sure about the word. It's not exactly the, the way. This, it's the response. Um, it's different from the drumstick. So again, you have to combine those two things: the physical aspect, of, I mean, the rebound or physical response, and the sound. Trying to find what what are you looking for in in this case. We're going to um, later uh, when I in the Q and A section. I'm gonna try to explain that um, according to the question. It's kind of an exercise I'm going to do. I'm going to do um, trying to find uh, the tip that fits better in in two situations. So you can wait and see later what happens. But that's for me. It's more or less what I've been um, 
uh, you know, uh, what in so far is that those two things related to, to drumsticks. To, sorry, two tips. Two tips. Um, okay. Now we can talk about a taper, which is uh, kind of really, really uh, um, related to the tip. Um, uh, well, I didn't mention about the tip. It, it, the, when the tip is super small, like, you know, maybe in the case of the, this is, this, these are the, the Keith Carroll models and all that, as you know, it's super small, of course. There's one thing that you can notice immediately, it's, it's smaller, so there's less weight here. So when you hit, the less, uh, less uh, the lighter the, the, this part is, it's uh, easier to rebound. Uh, well, we can apply the same concept to the, the taper. Um, if, if you have a really long taper, um, there's less weight here, so you get a better rebound. In fact, about the taper, let's talk specifically about the taper. What's the, uh, you know, the general rule that everybody mentioned is the longer the taper, the, the better rebound you get. Uh, I have to say that's completely true, man. Well, I have all my tests, uh, I have to admit that you always notice that. If you go to something really extreme, it's super, uh, you know, like a big band from guitars, you know, or even the Keith Carlock, um, you, can, you immediately notice that the, the drumstick rebounds a lot. But I have to, um, to say two more things about that. First, it's true that you get a better rebound, but you lose some power in your stroke. I mean, it's not a question of volume, it's a question of, most of, uh, more of um, uh, it, it's, it's, it's the power of the stroke. You feel that the, the, the stroke sounds lighter uh, when you hit with a, with a really, really long taper. When you are hitting with a really long taper, you have very little wood here when you hit. So it's kind of transmits, transmits less, um, less power to the hit. Um, so sometimes, uh, depending on the style or, or, or the song, if you need a, the sound to be bigger, um, it's not enough. It's kind of the, the drumsticks, all the drumsticks always ha has some kind of a, a top to, to their sound. I mean, you can get more sound from the drumstick uh, because, of the, because of the physical characteristics of the, of the drumsticks. That that's maybe that could happen. That could happen maybe if, if you are used to because otherwise everybody will say okay you get better rebound good everybody are going to use uh, we all want better rebound but that's not true. <laughs> Some people don't like a lot of rebound in the drums. They prefer something with less with less rebound. So, uh, but uh, in this case, if you are looking for a more powerful when you you know more power when you hit. Um, Pay attention to that, and maybe you have to go to something more medium or less extreme. And you can combine. That's where you can combine the tip and the and the taper. Um, sometimes, oh no, this is a long taper, but maybe I need a bigger tips to try to try to compensate that. Or maybe on the other side, you can think, okay, I need a long taper and super small tip, and then I don't care about. Uh, uh, I, uh, I I don't need a really really big fat powerful, uh, you know, stroke when I hit. Uh, so, combine that. Uh, that's, uh, that's something you have to pay attention to. And uh, the other aspect that I notice a lot when, when you use uh, uh, really long tape with, well, I mean, uh, drumsticks with a lot of really long tape, taper, it's, uh, uh, that, uh, it's, it's harder to control. The rebound, it's faster, it's, it's Super better, but at the same time, the rebound is it's it's it, the, the the drumstick rebound with less control. It goes to oh, you know uh, that's something you're gonna notice immediately if you if you go to something super extreme, um, you're gonna notice just the first time you start playing with with, with the drumsticks, um, you feel oh it rebounds super fast, but uh, it goes to other you know it's it's hard to 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 control the rebound. Um, 
That's true. At the same time, I can say that I, I, in that case, I think that it's something you can get used pretty, pretty soon if you start playing with that. Uh, so if you really need the rebound, you are going to learn how to control it. Uh, um, so, I mean, rela in relation to the other thing, aspect of the, of the power, sometimes, as I was telling you, okay, sometimes it's not enough. You need more, you need more drumstick to get that sound. In this case, I, I don't think so. I think it's just a question of get, you know, to play more with that drumstick and, and, until, you know, you're, you're finally going to reach a point where you are able to, to control the rebound and it feels really good and something. Uh, in fact, if you have a chance to see Keith Carlo playing with his drumsticks, <laughs> these are the long taper, small tip, and you can hear this no he, he plays like a beast and he, he has a lot of power. When you, want. you always have a chance to play with this side too. Then. So, um, but, uh, but I, I think that those two, it's not just, okay, I have super long taper, I'm gonna get better rebound. Oh, that's true, but pay attention to, to, to that. You know, to those aspects too, the, the power and, and volume power and and, uh, and the control. Okay. Okay, and let's um, um, finish about the parts of the drumstick. Talking about the the the, the finish of the drumstick. Uh, as you know, I mean, uh, all different. Well, different. All companies has they have um, their own uh, finish. Uh, Let's just talk about the regular boot uh, drumstick. Um, talking, uh, I don't know, Big Fruit will have a kind of a lacquer, uh, a lacquer or lacquer or whatever. <laughs> uh, in, in the, in, um, Vincent uh, use, uh, it's the, 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 the finish is it's a wash. It's not a lacquer, it's, it's a wash. So, um, in that case, that's something maybe it's really related with the first two things about the thickness of the weight. Uh, in this case, it's completely depending on your hands and on your. Uh, uh, I remember because uh, I, I, I've been I, I've told you this, but um, Jose Antonio from the drums from Vincent, the, uh, the Vincent distributor here in Spain, explained me uh, me. The, the, also the I mean the influence of the pH of the of the skin um, so the way you sweat the composition of your sweat I know the, the, the all that kind of different things are going to combine with the with the finish of the drumstick so uh, that's why maybe you if you use Vader or if you use Promark uh, feel so much better in your hand than if you are using Vincent or Big Firth or whatever you want to use. Uh, if, uh, in, even if, if, as you know, Big Firth has a huge uh, catalog of, of different drumsticks and they have a lot of different finish. So maybe if you are using this model and you take another model, it, it, it's so much difference in, in, the, in the finish that you have to, it doesn't fit in, in your case. So first, if you talk, if we talk about general purpose uh, models, uh, you have to try. And believe me, there's a lot of difference. As you know, in my case, uh, Vincent fits very, really well. The, 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 that wax uh, feels really comfortable in my hand. I have to say that in general, I don't like new drumsticks. I, in fact, I hate it. In fact, <laughs> so I remember sometimes I've been using drumsticks. That are really old and, and with a lot of uh, well, well that that drumstick that really need to be substituted. But I, when I start using a new one, it doesn't feel great. It's just a question of one two days. But it's kind of new and it, I I don't like the 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 feel of a new drumstick in my hand. I prefer to when when I'm using it for one two three days, it start to to adapt to to, to my hand. So. Well, I, apart from that, as you know, I've, I've tried also different lac, different lacquer. In, in the case of the Keith Carlock, again, it has a pretty dense lacquer. I really don't like that. It feels so more artificial in, in my hand. When I start sweating, uh, I don't like the, 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 
the feel, I don't like uh, how it feels in my hand. Uh, that's one thing. Uh, other possibilities, the, the, um, the color drumsticks, like this, from Vincent, or black model from Vincent, also the, the uh, body rich model, which is white too, the yo-yo is white too. Okay, uh, the color drumsticks, have, they have a, a, another layer of because of the paint. No? In that case, to be honest, as I told you, I don't feel so much difference. Uh, you can, uh, you feel the difference in your hand, but to be honest, it's not so much to to to. Um, uh, I don't know to decide that because of the pain. I mean, if you like black drumsticks or white drumsticks, go for it. It's just not. I mean, uh, after one or two days playing, you're gonna adapt perfectly. Uh, there's, mm, I in my case, I don't feel so much difference. Um, the, the, the extreme cases that for people that has really problem, a lot of problems with because of the uh, drumsticks, um, you know, slip from the hands when they're, they're playing. Uh, I've also tried this other option, which is, in this case, the Stylian Deep. Uh, they add uh, a, a, another layer here of rubber uh, to help with that. First of all, of course, you notice the, the, the grip, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's easier or it's more difficult to, for the drumstick to slip from your hand. But at the, as, I, as you know, as I told you, I really don't like the, the response of these drumsticks. Um, I feel like the, the way they add in all that part of the drumsticks destroy the balance of the drumsticks. So, it feels uh, for me it uh, was uh, terrible to use and to be honest I at this point I don't think it's it's a, a filial thing it's just uh, it's a question of the solution the kind of solution uh, as you know I'm gonna do more videos I'm gonna try all different versions in other companies to see if this that's true if, 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 if it's something related just to the to this layer or if it's something related to just specifically to this model. I don't think so, but I have to give it a try and give you different options. What I mean with this case is, uh, I think it's, it's a solution for a problem. So if you have that problem, just go for it, man. Just give it a try. And maybe you have to sacrifice something. You have to say, okay, I can play with a really well balanced drumstick because it just slips from my hand, so I need something. I need to to use this. Uh, but apart from that, I don't see the point of using this. If you if you don't have that problem, if you play well with a drumstick, maybe in really cold situations, I've never used it. But uh, but maybe I think it's. It, uh, I I probably would probably go with this instead of, of gloves. <laughs> That's to be honest. Um, but it's just a question for me. It's, it's a solution for a um, for a problem. It's not something that to use in general. Just as you all, as you know, I, all I'm saying here is just my personal opinion. You know, uh, with all the the tests that we, uh, I've been doing during these six months. Okay, let's go to the surprises. What round six has to uh, have um, to surprise me when I. Uh, use it. Uh, I'm going to talk about three models. Well, okay, surprise, let's say in a good way. Uh, drumsticks that I wasn't expecting to like me, and then after using it, uh, I, I was surprised that it really uh, it was really good to use them. Let's just start with this model. Maybe it's the, the, the more the, the, the drumstick that really surprised me more. It's the Yo Heredia model. To be completely honest, if I, I before all this crazy testing thing, uh, if I go to a shop and see this drumstick, I will never, ever, 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 uh, I've never buy this in the, the, in the shop, at the shop. Um, it just looked completely different of what I want from the drumstick. When I start using, using them, I. Um, 
okay, you don't, I don't like re the rebound, they are, they are light, I like that, but okay, but after using them for a week, it's starting to get used to them, uh, but anyway, if you watch the video, I would say, okay, I never use that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take them in, the, in, my, in my drum bag. Surprisingly, after uh, after that, I keep them and I start using them with a the pad because of the rebound. Because they are lighter, but the rebound is not really good. So it helps me to work in my in my rebound. I have to force myself to to control that, especially working with fingers. And sometimes it's not. Sometimes I play with a with a bigger drumstick, but sometimes you want a normal, a regular drumstick, but you have to work in the in the control of the rebound. Really great for that. I mean, I really love them for for playing styles when kind of the kind of when you need to to move slow but go really deep in what are you playing. Go really deep in the in the uh, in the cymbals or the way you play. And I really love them and, and the sound you get, especially when you hit uh, with all this surface. It's really. Uh, uh, fat sound and uh, they are really great for that. Uh, they are super light too because they are maple. So I'm I'm using it, I'm using these drumsticks a lot, especially at, with a pad. Uh, so it was the first surprise. Uh, okay, second surprise. I don't have it here because it, I don't have my drum back here. But are the Jojo Mayer uh, drumstick? Uh, um, Okay, when I used them the first time, it uh, was a, a friend gave it to me and I started uh, playing with them. My buddy Michael has been here um, this summer. Uh, they, they allowed me to play with, with his drumsticks, that was the, the Jojo Mayer version. And really feels good, the rebound. And uh, when I use them, I get a pair. And when I, start, uh, when I started using them here to try to test it, I really love the drumstick, but it's too short for me. As you know, I've mentioned many times, I really don't like shorter, I don't like longer drumstick, but shorter is, uh, is also bad for me because I end up playing with this, with holding like this, and I really prefer to play in this, I really don't like this. Uh, when, when, the, when the drumstick is too short for me, it's, it's, I feel it, okay. When I explain what happens, or uh, when I was making the video for the uh, Jojo Mayer um, drumstick, I said, okay, they are great, I love the sound, I love the tip, and all that, but they are too short for me. Okay, the, I've been using the dr <laughs> those drumsticks uh, sporadically, of course, but uh, after that, and they are in my drum bag, in fact. Um, I don't know why, but they, they are great, I think they are great for, for I, I completely see the point of, or, or completely see uh, the reason, the, the design for, for the drumstick compared with the style that Jojo Mayer plays. Of course, I'm kind of uh, three galaxies and two um, uh, more universes <laughs> away from Jojo Mayer uh, playing, but for that kind of style, with when you are playing 16 so fast with the fingers, or I don't know, the, the kind of style of, the, of he plays, the drumstick feels really great. And, and even, so it, it was a surprise, it's a surprise for me because it's too short. It's kind of a 7A or even, or even I, I don't think it is, it's even the, the length of a 7A. Even, I, I guess it's less. Uh, but I don't know why, but it's, it's really good. The tip, I love the tip and the sound you get from the tip, the rebound, really well, well balanced. And, and, and I don't know, I've been using them a lot for jazz, a lot for that kind of, of vibe, of, uh, funk or all that thing. Uh, and the last one I have to, I, I just want to say that it's kind of a surprise also, it's the body reach. The body reach model, it's, First of all, it's super heavy for me, as I mentioned past week, super heavy. The tip is kind of strange, but there's one thing that I love about this drumstick, it's the rebound, not because you don't get a lot of rebound, 
they are they are not bouncy, which is something amazing if you compare with the the, the way that and the speed of body bridge. You know? So, um, but uh, the rebound is super stable. I love the way the the way the drumstick rebound. So for for practicing finger style, finger playing, they are awesome. Uh, they are awesome because they rebound super stable. You don't need to, to, to apply a lot of, of, of speed and a lot of strength. Um, and because they are heavy, so you also work with the, with the strength of your fingers at the same time. So I really love these drumsticks. Um, and it feels really great in, in, in traditional grip. Um, so another <laughs> surprise for me. Maybe that, I don't know, maybe there's more, but these three are uh, some models that I would never buy if, it's, if I've, you know, I just give it a try because of this project, which is great it's to discover all that things. On the other side, well, I mentioned this earlier, um, it's, I have to talk about the, 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 this uh, grip layer drumstick solution. I really hate it. Honestly, I hate the way the, the response of these of this, uh, drumsticks. And I, yes, I, I told you before, it's not, I don't think it's a question of, of this model in concrete. I think it's a question of, of the solution. But uh, we'll talk about that in the future, in other, in other videos. Uh, yes, uh, I've talked about the surprises. Now let's go with my favorites. Uh, San Antonio favorite is pretty strong work. Uh, I don't have a favorite. I really, what I'm doing now is I have, I have a lot of different options in my drum bag. And I love to change when I go to a different song and especially if you are going to a jam session, if you are hosting a jam session, you have to play different styles or if you play, I don't know, in a cover band or, or uh, you know, orchestra or something like that, you, it's a good chance to combine and to, to try different things. And if you are going to play a hard rock song, go for a 2B, and you are going to play a funk, uh, um, vibe song, you go to, I don't know, to Joy Mayer and you can, it's, it's a perfect place to taste, to test. So, taking all that into consideration, what I can say is the models that I'm using now more regularly or some, that, you know, the, the kind of drumstick that you go, you go for it, when you don't have too much time to think and just, so there's no, oh, let's go, I'm gonna use this. There, are, okay, I would say, First, the the Vincent 7A XL, XL. Uh, it's kind of my reconciliation with the 7A <laughs> because, as you know, I didn't like the the the, the thickness of a 7A, but it, the 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 7A XL model from Vincent, it's longer. It's it's. it's I don't remember exactly now. I think it's 16 or just pretty close to that. No, I guess. But uh, the shape is kind of different. So they have a longer, um, uh, longer taper. Okay, the combination and I, it feels really great for jazz, for swing, Latin, all that kind of of vibe. It feels great for me. And that's one of the drumsticks I, I'm using more now, uh, in all that styles. When I'm looking for something more thinner, more no, not really heavy, I go for that. Um, other model I'm using a lot also, it's the, the Peter Erskine, Big Bam. Um, especially when I need, when I know I'm going to need uh, to go for it, and you know, we want to swing, really swing or swing kind of fast, uh, they help a lot. They are designed for that. Um, I think the right version, which is uh, a version, uh, another drumstick from Peter Erskine that I, I've, um, I haven't tried now for now, but the big band are great. They are thick. I think they are between a 5A and 5B or something like that. Uh, so you get the thickness you want, but at the same time they are super fast. It feels really great. 
hard to control in the beginning, but after one week playing with them, you completely you get used to them, and they are really great for that. When I know I'm gonna need that, or sometimes even when I need to play uh, fast with the with the hi hat too, uh, it's a great option too. Other model that that I use in general, let's say when I need pop rock song, sometimes the seven A or just to, to, I doesn't feel enough. I don't feel enough thickness in my hand for that styles. Sometimes 5B is too much, so I've been using a lot the, the five, uh, you know, the, the, the in the middle thickness. <laughs> uh, in my case, I use the Vincent uh, uh, 55F. Around here, I'm pretty sure they are around here. Okay. Uh, these are no the five eh, the five one. I have a ton of drumsticks here and they are not here. But anyway, they are ah, here they are. Okay, this is the the round tip. Uh, this is the this is the drumstick which is in between the five M and five P. Um, well I'm using Vincent as you know I really feel that I love the wax and the, the grip. Um, and that's a really great drumstick for to use for that general purpose music. Uh, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you are playing something. That, okay, this is nothing extreme or not really. So you just what's well, your regular stick? That's maybe one of my regular sticks. I have to say I'm kind of changing now, but I thought that may, it. it um, I've always I talk about this fa uh, uh, middle. Uh, version uh, well, because I use some signature models that are in that in that uh, measure but something I've been discovering with uh, with the I'm using not not the round tip I, I'm using the five uh, uh, the 55 but with regular acorn tip um, so uh, or tip drop or tip or call it whatever however you want uh, but I've been discovering something lately, so I think I'm gonna make an episode uh, talking about this, the, the, the Fusion, uh, so, no? or uh, the, five, the 55F. Um, but you have to wait until that episode, okay? But this is kind of my, one of my regular sticks that I use, I'm using uh, a lot. Uh, other uh, version, that, or other model that I use uh, sometimes is the the modern jazz collection, the, the four, uh, the NGC four, they are uh, uh, they are maple, they are round tip, pretty long uh, um, taper. Um, for I really like uh, that drumstick for jazz. Uh, also, um, it's it's kind of light, but it's th it's thick at the same time. So sometimes you know you need. You want that feel of the light drums, but you want to have something bigger in your hand. So it uh, feels really great for that. But I also use it for for other styles when you want to play. It, it, it I don't know. It's it's a it's a drumstick that feels really great and the rebound. It's it's super comfortable and I, I really love to use it uh, in general too. Uh, it's, it's kind of another option. The tip is round and kind of small, so. Uh, when you want something more focused, uh, you don't. You can get that from a five and uh, a fifty-five. Uh, so I go for that. Um, it's an old drumstick that I, I'm using. Now. Um, the one I, I'm using is some, sometimes too, but uh, not so much to say. That the four is the one I use uh, more regularly. And to end up, another drumstick that I use. When I just want to play, I don't know, rock or something. When I just okay, I, uh, let's say something harder. When you want a five B, it's something that you know it's gonna work. Uh, instead of five B, I use normally uh, um, the Benny Grab version because I really like the the tip, and I think the sound you get from the tip is it's better than the five B. And well, you know, when we all talk about sound in this case, sometimes it's. Uh, it's kind of a drummer thing, okay? Nobody's gonna notice that. 
different, but I I don't care. I notice it that and that's what I'm working on, and I really love. I, I really like to notice that, and I prefer to um, to work on that. The response is better. I really it's curious because I don't like really don't like the five E from Big Fear, but the great the Benny Grand version, which is kind of the same drumstick, the same shape, but with a smaller tip. Maybe the tip is a little bit different. I'm not sure, but. Uh, but I really prefer the response, and uh, maybe it's my, you know, admiration for <laughs> from Benny. But uh, when I go for a 5B, I go for the Benny uh, version. It, well, that's kind of uh, uh, my my some of the drumstick that I've incorporated to my to my drum bag. Um, okay, we're reaching the end. Uh, now I want to say four things that that I've learned during this these six months in general about drums. First of all, is that drumsticks really matter. <laughs> uh, you have to, I think you have to put some time in, in exploring this uh, because drumsticks really affect the sound, really affects uh, the way you play, really all that. I, I can say that's completely true. So of course you can play with the drumstick you want, but, or any drumstick you can play with, uh, you know, uh, you can use two spoons to play if you want. But please put a little bit of time in that, give it a try, use this, use this. What I would say is that um, do a small changes, never use a five, I don't know, a seven, eight, one week, and two be the next week because it's going to be impossible to to know what what's changing it's better if you're using a 5a maybe use a 5a with round tip maybe change or go to 5b i don't know maybe go to 5a xl change change just one thing so you can compare and start to focus and um, or use my videos to see uh try to find you know uh you, where you want to work, what are you looking for, and start at that point. Uh, as you know, I'm not a really a, a drummer with a lot of experience, very professional. No, I'm just a regular player and uh, I'm just learning. Uh, but maybe I can help you to, to, to you know, to focus on something. Um, start there or start there or, or understand what are, you can expect from but in the end, I know in the end you have to try, you have to give it a try. But anyway, it's important. I compare this uh, with um, uh, when you play golf. Uh, of course, you can play all. You can play golf with just one pad is the work for a for a stick. Let's say no? with a golf stick or pad. I think the pad is the name. Uh, but. If you if you want to play and if you start learning, why are you going to use just uh, what do you want a, a, a pad that helps you with the kind of or the type of hit you want to use? You have to do. Sorry, uh, if you are in you no. Know, if you are starting to play in either or really long, uh, maybe you use a, a, a metallic pad, you can use some um, uh, booth the stick, you can use different, in, so you try to select the best uh, pad in each situation. For me it's like exactly the same for the, for the, um, for drums or for the drumsticks. Uh, I, I go, go related to, I, I would say the second aspect that I think I, I've learned, well first thing, so really really drumstick, I think they matter. In, in, I, I know there's many people disagree with this, that yeah, it's just a tool, just, you can play with every drumstick, it's, maybe it's true, but um, uh, but what I can, I have to say, it, of course it matters. You can change the sound, you can change a lot of things just using different drumsticks. And that lets me, to, or, or takes me to the, to the second point, which is, I really think that the drumstick has to work with you, has to cooperate in what you are trying to, to accomplish. So, there's nothing wrong in, in change, 
uh, uh, drastic because this song is, I need more volume here. And people say, okay, if you, you won't need more volume, play harder. Okay, but why I have to do that? Maybe I, I can go to a thicker drumstick and I can be play, you know, play more relaxed. It doesn't mean that you don't have to be able to control your dynamics. Or, no, you, you can of course you can work on that. But once you are playing, just pick the right tool for your, for what are you doing? It's, uh, uh, it might, I mean, if you play in a rock band, it's with, with, you know, if you are playing a gig, probably you just, you can play the whole week with the same drumstick because maybe the, the, the kind of music you are playing is more or less the same or pretty close one to each other. So, okay, I can understand that. Okay, I can go with a 2B or a 5B or with a signature, whatever uh, that I love and I play with that. I, but if you are in a jam, if you are playing different styles, or if you play in a band that has pretty, a lot of different styles, why are you uh, do you have to play with the same drastic? Just pick, just have other resources, man. You you can uh, um, uh, take advantage of all that work of a lot of people that are working on that and designing drumsticks and doing that. Just just give it a try and 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 and, and just take advantage of that. So in my case, I'm now. Uh, uh, Sometimes in a gig I use, I don't know, five, six, seven, uh, I don't know, eight different types of drumsticks. I change it for a song, I change it sometimes just for fun, sometimes just because I feel better, because it, it helps me to go faster or it helps me to accomplish something or whatever. But I, they are tools, I, 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 I have to say that. And I, I, um, in my opinion, they are design and they are made to work with us and to cooperate with our sound and with our style and all that so just i don't know just use it <laughs> uh, okay the third point uh, about the combination of weight and thickness as i told you there for there's something you have to relate to to something that feels comfortable in your hand but at the same time, I have to say that something that I discovered during this uh, uh, test is that um, that's completely true, but it's also that the thickness and weight of the drastic is affects to my state of mind and it affects to the way I play. Uh, the thicker and the heavier the drumstick, I it let, you know makes me play harder makes me play with more energy if the stick is uh, thin or light it helps me to play more relaxed more you know the vibe is different uh, it's been amazing to discover this uh, uh, and for me it's completely true you just start playing and you start noticing all that how you feel different with that with that I start noticing that I started noticing that in the uh, when I play with the 2B, after 40 minutes play, sorry, 50 minutes playing with them, I noticed that I was hitting the drums uh, with uh, super hard, and it's it's that it's the vibe I get is different. So uh, uh, I, again, take advantage of that. Um, don't force yourself. I mean, don't force yourself to to fight against your drumsticks. Uh, if you go to a, to a jam session and, and they give you a pair and of course you get a 2B and you have to play a jazz light sound, okay, you have to, you know, control all the sound, hit super light, blah, blah, blah. That's, I understand that. But if you are in your gig and you have to play a, a song that it's light and if you know it helps you, a 7A helps you, go for a 7A, man. Uh, men or women or women or... or uh, or whatever you are uh, so and that it's related with the fourth point which is now it's getting really complicated uh, that's completely true that happens but at the same time I think we have to work with that against that I mean 
I, I think it's also important to work against all that kind of brain associations. Um, that's something that that Benny Grape explained us in the in the one of, in the master session uh, that he says he was talking about the, that kind of associations when when you start your brain right, okay when I I want to play uh, I need to play fast so I play harder or with more volume. Because sometimes it happens when you need to play fast, you start hitting with less control and, and go, and you hit harder. If you do that without paying attention, your brain finally associates that. So it's kind of uh, now you, you you go into autopilot mode and it's okay, hard to do faster. Uh, and he explained that explained it, um, uh, that uh, you have to work uh, to put some work on that and and to not to fight against that, but to control that, to be able to control. It's great to have that autopilot mode when you need it, but um, you decide when you go in autopilot mode. It's not your body, you decide. Okay, now I need that, go for it. But it's the same here. Uh, if you know that the 7A helps you, makes you feel more, that's great, but sometimes I, that's something that I, I'm doing uh, a lot currently it's, it's okay now I'm gonna play super soft with uh, a really big and heavy drumstick uh, it, it's it's hard you know you have to put more work your your mind it you have to be more focused on what are you doing and that's that's helping you to control that I don't know if I'm being able to explain this uh, it's kind of complicated but uh, it's 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 how it feels for me. Uh, so you have to you know decide what is comfortable for you. Then after that, we you have to understand that sometimes you can change your state of mind or the way you play, changing your, your, the thickness and the weight of the drumstick, and at the same time work to avoid that association to be automatic in your brain that gives you you know uh, work to be able to decide and to activate that autopilot mode when you want i don't know it's clear i think that that that's the that's four things that, that i completely learned with uh, with this brain so far so let's see in the 50 episode if all these are the same or maybe i completely changed and i don't know Sometimes it's not just a physical question or that sometimes it's uh, the more you learn and the more you study makes you discover new things and change or maybe sometimes you change your opinion, sometimes you just play different gigs. So something changed around you. But I think it's great to have the, to understand um, what you can get from a drastic. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, the q and I have a question from uh, Christian Hill and the question is uh, what's my recommendation for funk uh, when you play funk what's uh, what what drumstick do you recommend to use according to what I have, all that I've been trying first of all recommendation it's pretty strong word for me <laughs> I don't know if I can recommend the you know, uh, I don't re I can recommend something uh, at this point uh, I don't think I'm not the right guy for, for that. But um, I'm gonna answer, first I'm gonna answer because I hate when you ask, ask a question that to some, you know, about something. So, no, the one that feels better for you, the one that is, okay, man, I know that. <laughs> I'm just trying to give, you know, to, to, to obtain your opinion about this. So I'm gonna, first of all, I'm gonna answer, okay? Um, I'm gonna get dirty on this. But uh, I have to start saying something that I'm pretty sure you're going to understand is that when we talk about funk, funk has a lot of different variations that are completely op opposite is the store word, but they're super far away one from each other. So to avoid to go super crazy about this, I'm going to establish two main uh, funk styles. Okay, first the funk, the powerful funk, the kind of related fusion, sometimes even close to to rock and roll. Uh, it's got, when you hit when you hit a very 
hard, uh, hard snare strokes, um, you know, that kind of vibe, so powerful and funk with more energy. And there's another uh, style for me, that, which is the kind of the uh, classic uh, funk, with kind of the meters or all that vibe. Um, they are after the jazz, mm, uh, you know, the jazz uh, age, let's say like that. Uh, a lot of players start playing, started playing um, funk and all that the meters vibe, it's kind of more soft, where a lot of linear patterns, so close to linear, uh, that kind of vibe. I think there are two different, uh, so uh, uh, I'm going. I'm trying to to do that exercise that I mentioned earlier. Uh, okay, let's let's work with these two versions. Okay, about the power, about this, the more powerful funk style. I would say I would go first. I would go with a, a round or something similar to round tip. I think you get a more focused sound that works really great with this with this style. Uh, about the the taper, uh, I will go not not uh, I will stay with with the medium um, taper. I will never go too um, too long because because of the power. Sometimes with these styles you need it has to sound man. It has to sound, but it has to. You need that that kind of. Mm, the, the body of the heat, of the stroke, you know? You need something, you need more. And if you go to something too long or too crazy, sometimes you miss that. So in my case, I will go with something like that. Uh, and about the weight and the thickness, that's something I, I completely think you, it's, it's your decision. It's, it's, I, I don't think it's, it's gonna have um, a lot of influence in, in, in the sound because you can work with the combination. If you prefer something lighter, you prefer something thicker, but you don't want something pretty heavy, go with maple. If you prefer something uh, 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 thinner, but you don't want something too light, go with oak. You can establish that combination. I would say, I I've, I've, I've start um, with a 5A, less than 5A, maybe it's, it's could be poor to to these styles but it's of course it's my opinion eh? you are asking for my opinion um okay that's i i don't know if i'm he helping you but that's kind of the things that i uh, i would think and i'm thinking about funk what i i what i'm using so there is something that okay uh drumstick that really like I really like it for, for that. It's the the, fi the 55 uh, uh, F from Vincent, uh, but especially the the round tip version. Okay, I think the standard version is better for rock and all that. But for funk, when you start, or even with with raw, with 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 has uh, that kind of funk vibe or more rhythmic uh, versions. The the round and they has it has a um, maybe a little bit more than medium, but uh, the combination because it's, it's more than it's between 5A and 5B for me is enough. Uh, uh, I, I think it, it feels better. Um, other option that I would say with, uh, for that uh, buy, uh, I sometimes I use also the, the AMG C4. Um, I think I'm not giving the same, that, but I, I think it's great. I, I'm not giving the same um, answer about the models that with the uh, with the Spanish version, <laughs> but because it's not it's not a fixed rule for me. Sometimes I just pay attention to the sound and decide one of, of each other. But the the NGC four is another option for me. Great, uh, great for for this uh, for this kind of buy. Uh, in that case, it's lighter because it, it's maple. So I play with that combination. Um, uh, if you feel you need more rebound or I don't know, 
and maybe play with the with the tip or with something more, more extreme. I don't know. The I another great option if you prefer something with the tip to as o sea, uh, o sea is a Spanish word. Uh, so um, um, smaller tip. Uh, the the Mike Johnston version is really great too. It's kind of the same vibe of the MGC4, but in this case it's Hickory. This is heavier, so but the rebound is great too because of the tip and the taper, and um, it's it's a great option too for funk, um, for that vibe of funk. Okay, that's some of the option uh, options I can give you that that I use uh, when I need. Uh, that's one thing. About the other vibe, about the meters vibe, I think you, you can, uh, a good example is, is the CC Strat sound, which is a standard classic funk sound. Super hard to play, I, don't, I, would, I, I, can, I can't play that song, of course, but the vibe is that. No. In that case, uh, I would change, I would say the tip, in that case I prefer a long, Maybe not need, I don't need to be big, but uh, with more surface hitting the, the snare. Uh, I will go with something um, with kind of oval tip, acorn or, or teardrop, or with, I need more surface because that kind of vibe, um, you have sometimes you have, uh, um, or maybe a deep sound with the snare tunes kind of low, but, um, you are looking for something more uh, with with uh, um, pretty tight uh, uh, and and the vibe it's it's it, I I prefer that kind of farther sound so that I think that the tip helps you with that so and even the kind of rebound you're looking for it's not it's not super fast if you pay attention to the sound it's not kind of it's not it's not that it's more maybe sometimes you uh, you um, um, I don't know you need something kind of fast but at, at one specific point in the snare and then you go back to the hi-hat um, uh, it's, it's kind of a small roars or something like that or double stroke roars or something but uh, you don't need a lot of speed so uh, I think it works better that and um, even in that case, I'll, you can play perfectly with a with a, with a, a short taper. You can go. I would go with medium because I, I think it helps uh, a little bit. But you don't need a lot of rebound, and, and I think it is better to to make the sound fatter. Um, so I would go with something like that. Uh, uh, one option for me in that case is the MGC-1, I think it's great for that uh, because of the of, of that, because of the uh, the kind of tip, the kind of uh, it's kind of a medium long taper in that case uh, but it's thick so uh, the response are it's really great for that um, another option uh, I don't know, for example, even maybe if, if it's a um, slow song, uh, when you don't need a lot of that, the Joy Ready are great for that. It's true that it's maple and sometimes it is, uh, but if you are not, the song doesn't require a lot of sound or volume, it's another great option because of the tip specifically for me. Um, uh, sometimes I, I prefer that controlling the rebound, you don't want that super fast crazy rebound, you prefer the control rebound and this is a great option for that. But uh, also the Benny, uh, the Benny grab option, it's, it's great for, uh, for that. But in that case I would go with something like that, with especially the tip, I think it's, it's uh, in that case the tip is, is the key point for me. Again, the thickness and the weight completely related to, to how it feels better. I prefer to to put some to, to hold something that um, that feels comfortable. Uh, in that case, again, I would say something starting from from uh, from five eight. Yeah. 
I wouldn't go too crazy. More than more than five is too much for me for that bike. I, I, it feels better for, for me to to. Uh, but again, seven A for me, it's too uh, too small in that case. I know. I hope it helps, buddy. It's I, I, I suppose this that's why you trying to to get for me. Uh, but of course, you you if you. I'm pretty sure that if we take ten uh, famous, amazing uh, funk drummers, uh, we are gonna find ten different, com ten completely different drumsticks because as uh, you know each one goes to. One. But uh, that's the kind of exercise I do now when I when I think you know, when I need to play a song. Just it's just a quick. Uh, I don't start to design the drums. You know, it's just a quick decision. But, um, it, oh, I'm going to try with this, and and sometimes I change. I play one in one gig. I play with with a drumstick, and in other gig I change because I want to explore the difference. And then I decide. Oh, I feel this one feels better for me, or this one. And as I mentioned, sometimes the sound is something for you more than than for for the people, because no? they don't notice that. But you notice, and I think sometimes, um, uh, when the sound, when, when, when you love the sound you're getting, I think you play better. It feels better for you, and you start feeling better, and then going in, and you know. Uh, so, that's the two options I can give you, I think. I hope it helps. Okay, let's send out now. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's again more than an hour. But I have to say uh, thank you before going. Thank you first, if you allow me, uh, first to Vincent again and to uh, Jose Antonio from Iberdrum here in Spain, because they, I don't to to, to oh sorry uh, sorry uh, for the next week I uh, didn't mention that. Uh, well, the, the next week I'm going to play a, a drumstick that I just I just forget about this this model. Um, and the other day I was. Uh, looking for something and I found out this and I remember that it's something I really want to try and it's uh, it's from Vincent it's the jazz stick it's a, it's a, it's a stick that is supposed or it is, is designed uh, for playing jazz um, but it's a 5A and hickory so I have a really good vibe about this drum stick so I want to try it now um, Another thing I have to say, I've been, I've already have uh, two or three request, three requests I think from different models that, uh, uh, well, Christian is one of of, of the of, of the followers that wants to uh, asking me for for trying two models and they are already in in the queue. Uh, I'm going to use it and this week I'm going to to get all of them and. I I started to try to those models and, and give you my opinion. And again, thank you to my, so much. Thank you, Vincent, for um, supporting this and to you know to 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 trust in whatever I'm doing here and and allow me to test all your models and, and as you know, this is not a marketing platform. I'm not selling Vincent, but uh, uh, they know that and they decide to 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 give me the option to try it. So thank you for that. Um, another thing, I, I just, I'm really thank you to all, and you know, I've never asked for share or like and all that crazy uh, social network stuff. I honestly don't uh, care about that. I'm not, uh, um, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not every day looking for the, the, the Facebook, oh, how many, uh, followers, how many likes and all that stuff because I think it's crazy. You, you can get really crazy with that. Um, but at the same time, I really want to thank you uh, or to thank to all of you that share that information to, to um, or, or write me to tell me I'm following, I'm watching your videos and all that. I think it's great. Uh, it's, it's, it's really great to know that some of you are, are taking some kind of advantage of all that. Uh, all this uh, thing and um, the, 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 the only purpose of of of, uh, of sharing all that uh, for me it's that 
to be able to reach more people that can take advantage of this. This is not, I'm not going to be famous for this, I'm not going to get a lot of money for this, I'm just spending money as you know and time, but I'm, I'm going to, I just, I think it's a great exercise for me and force me to focus on this and sometimes I can, I have to say that even I, I, days that I really not, I really don't go, don't want to go to practice because I have a lot of work or something, or I have to do a lot of things or I'm tired. Sometimes they okay, no, but I have to try, the, I, I, I have to make the video something, I have to try drumsticks, I have to be able to explain what I feel, how it feels. And uh, so it's, it's, in the end, it's helping me too. So uh, thank you to all of you that, that take a minute to, to like or to call it whatever it's done in each platform, each social network or, or whatever. Uh, and of course, Thank you to all of you that are just watching the videos and, and um, spending some time with me <laughs> every week or once in a while. And, you know, you have all the videos there in, in the YouTube channel or, uh, so you can have a look when you need or when you want or, and, and all that. So, a lot of love for you. Thank you so much for being here. And let's go for the next 25. We have to start and to put a work on all this and uh, see you next Sunday, okay? Have a nice week, have fun, keep drumming, and peace. Goodbye.